Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Tech Steps. Today, I'll guide you on how to install and use Wallpaper Engine on Windows PC, an amazing tool to make your desktop screen more dynamic and unique. To install Wallpaper Engine, you first need to install Steam, as it's the official platform for distributing this software. You can find a video tutorial on how to install Steam in the description below. After installing and logging into Steam, type Wallpaper Engine in the search bar on the software interface. Click on the result, scroll down, and click Add to Cart. Then, click View My Cart and press Continue to Payment to proceed with the purchase. On the Payment Method page, select your payment method, fill in all card details, and follow the instructions step by step to successfully purchase Wallpaper Engine. Once you've purchased Wallpaper Engine, let's install and start using it. From the Steam Home interface, go to the Store tab, click on your store, and select Followed Games and Software. Here, choose All Games. You'll find Wallpaper Engine in your list of games and software. Click the Use Now button to install it. Leave the default settings as they are and click Install. Click Let's Go to start the initial setup. Just keep the default options and press Next to finish, as we'll cover these settings later in the video. On Wallpaper Engine's main interface, you'll find three main tabs. The Installed tab contains the wallpapers you've downloaded. The Discover tab showcases new wallpapers. The Workshop tab contains all available wallpapers. This is where you'll search for and find wallpapers to use. To set a wallpaper for your desktop, it's simple. Just double-click on a wallpaper and it will be downloaded and automatically applied to your desktop background. Now let's move on to the Workshop tab. The Workshop interface is divided into three main sections. On the left is a powerful filter tool that lets you search by type, age, resolutions, and themes. In the middle are the search results. On the right are the details of a selected wallpaper. If you like a wallpaper, double-click to download it, or right-click and select Subscribe. Try choosing some wallpapers, then go back to the Installed tab to familiarize yourself with the Playlist feature. Playlists allow you to group your favorite wallpapers into a list that automatically changes your desktop background after a set period of time. To create a playlist, click the checkbox on each image you want to include. The selected images will appear in the playlist bar below. Click Configure to set it up. For example, I'll configure it to change the wallpaper randomly every one minute. There are many other settings you can explore. Finally, click Save. Name your playlist, assign a hotkey if desired, and press OK to save it. You can create multiple playlists, and to use any playlist, simply click Load to select it. All right, that's the basics. Now let's move on to the Settings section. I'll walk you through some commonly used settings. To access Settings, click the gear icon in the upper right corner. There are four tabs in the Settings menu. Performance tab. This tab is divided into two sections, Playback and Quality. Playback includes options like Pause or Stop which allow the software to automatically pause or reduce resource usage when you open other applications, enter full screen mode, or when the screen turns off to save computer performance. Quality. Adjust the quality of wallpapers from low to ultra. If your computer has high specs and a 4K screen, set it to max quality for the best results. In the general table, select Start with Windows to launch the software with your operating system. Enable Set High Priority to optimize performance. Options like Protect Against Crashes and Safe Start After Hibernation ensure the software runs stably. Assign hotkeys and hotkeys for quick controls. For example, I'll assign Alt plus right arrow to switch to the next wallpaper, and there are many other settings you can explore on your own.
And that's it for our basic guide on Wallpaper Engine. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.